Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For those who are new here, you can call me Mar. I'm an artist here in the Philippines and I make my own stickers at home in this corner of my room and I sell them online. In this channel, I share behind the scenes of my small sticker shop and also share inspiration for your creative journey as well as tips and tutorials to help you guys in your own art shop or whatever creative projects that you have. So if you are into art, cozy vlogs, and informative small business content, then consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel so that you'll not miss our next videos. And it also helps our channel reach the right people. That's you! In our previous vlogs, we printed using heat press vinyl and also using the sublimation technique. So our third technique is using Daron! dark transfer papers guys. There's actually also a light transfer paper but today we'll be using dark transfer paper or DTP because we can use that in both light and darker colored materials. We actually use these transfer papers to print this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. Ta-da! This is so cute, right? So this is my logo or my mascot. The color is super vivid and vibrant and I'm really happy how it turned out. And as you can see here guys, the white part is opaque because I used dark transfer paper. And if we use light transfer paper, the white parts are going to be transparent or it will not be really visible. Ta-da! Both the dark and light transfer papers actually look the same in front. But if you flip them guys, the one with the black like print at the back is the dark transfer paper. And the one with the red print at the back is the light transfer paper. We'll be using illustrations or our drawings that are full color. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. So let's go ahead and start. Oh wait guys, before you proceed, our friends from iTech have another surprise for you. So make sure to watch the whole video. Check the description box below after this video so that you can check out this special gift just for you. The designs that I'm going to be using are our original illustrations and also one BTS fan art because I love BTS. Here are the designs that I already prepared, guys. As you can see, I intentionally chose the illustrations with vivid colors or like full color template so that you can just see the output properly. I also made this like pocket type design. We'll use the one with the white flower for dark colored polo so that you can see the effect of the dark transfer paper using a white color. We'll be using the pink flower for my white polo shirt. And let's print this. I'm just going to be using my printer with the pigment ink. Paper size A4, print settings. In my case, I use premium glossy. Print quality is best or high quality. It's up to you. For me, if it's just for personal use, I'm going to choose high quality. But if it's for client, it's going to be best quality. And for dark transfer paper, guys, or DTP, we will just print the image as it is. We will not mirror the image or we will not flip the image, okay? Ta -da -da! Fast forward, here's our printed design. And we also made a lot of other designs right here. Here are the pocket style designs, which we'll be putting here on this left side of the polo shirt. And I also have these. I like put this on the extra parts of our transfer paper so that it will not get wasted. So there you go. And as you can see here, guys, we can actually use Kiss Cut on the DTP because it's very thin and this will make it easier for you to peel the design later. By the way, guys, I have to cut the border, the white border right here because if you do not remove it, it's gonna be like this, opaque. So it's not going to be transparent for dark transfer paper, okay? Okay guys, here are our designs. Ta -da! Ta -da! So let's go to the other room and press them. Hey guys, welcome to our heat press area and let me show you the t-shirts that we're going to be using. A dark color and a lighter color. These are the iTech Dry Fit Polo and as you can see guys, the quality is superb and there are different colors to choose from. You can just check out their website. The link is in the description box below to see whatever colors are available. I know guys, maybe the yellow part is not the best color combination with the navy blue but we'll just be using it so that you'll see the effect of the dark transfer paper with white color inside it and when printed using a dark material. This one will go right here. 
before I start pressing the polo shirts, guys, I just want you to know that I'm not an expert at this. I'm just trying things out. I already also practiced a lot using some of our like spare t-shirts and old t-shirts, you know, yung mga nagyayelo na yung kilikili, tapos yung maluwag-luwag na yung neckline. <laughs> so yeah, it's okay to like have trial and error. I have a lot of test prints, you guys, because I don't want to waste the more expensive materials that we have. I also intentionally tested out like colorful designs so that I can see if I have to adjust their contrast, their vibrance, or stuff like that. So yeah. I saw some videos where they have like a different foam and they cut this part right here so that the part of the shirt with the button so that they can use the heat press and print properly because the buttons are gonna get in the way if we just place everything right here. But I'm gonna do another technique because I don't wanna cut this yet. If some of you guys watching right now are experts at using the heat press and dark transfer papers and other printing stuff, please help me out, okay? You can leave tips in the comment section below because I'm a newbie and a lot of people from our viewers would love to hear your tips and techniques as well. I'm just gonna place this on the side part of my phone. I'm just putting it this way, like, on the side part so that the button part will not get in the way <laughs> let's just pre-press this for like five seconds just to remove the moisture or make the shirt flat or something okay so it's ready and since we're using dark transfer paper we actually have to peel the back part guys we will not press it immediately you have to remove the back part like that so you can see Ta -da. so i'm gonna be putting it right here and make sure that it's straight guys <laughs> maybe right here in the middle of this part it depends on you guys, how you want the design to be positioned. Yeah, this looks good. Then let's place the Teflon sheet. And let's press. 10 seconds. Let's just grab some cloth or some flat object and I'm just going to like rub this. Just making sure that the design fully sticks on our cloth. And let's check it out guys. Whoa, did it work? Ooh, it worked guys. Ta-da! What do you think guys? I think it's better if I made the background like a bit darker, just a little darker because the light pink is too light. But anyway, I'm really happy with the outcome. It's super beautiful. What do you think guys? Do you like it? Okay guys, next. Since we are using the dark transfer paper, the white part is opaque, it's not transparent. Let's go and print our other designs.
quality is really nice guys because even though there is a sunlight, it's actually raining, so the sky is covering my light source. Ta-da! Guys, bagay na bagay siya sa mga ganitong style. Pero sobrang init, grabe. <laughs> Kailangan i-off yung electric fan para hindi marinig yung sound. Ooh, sweat! Let's go back! Um, we're back, guys! With our cutie mascot. And guys, don't forget to check our description box below because iTech has a promo for you, a special promo just for our viewers. So go ahead and check that out after this video. And if I get the chance, I might hold another giveaway, but it's gonna be on our Instagram account. So it's at the Art of Mar. Do follow us there because that's where we post most of our updates, like our shop updates for our stickers, like new products, giveaways, promos, and those kinds of things. And once again, thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you you have some video ideas, suggestions, or if you have tips for us because we're just beginners, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I always love reading your comments, guys. Let's hang out again next week, guys, here on our channel. Stay grateful, stay grounded. God bless you guys. Bye!